but today we shall find out and another comment for this is that I think they increased the price Why? I am very excited for the chili crab xiao long bao for those of you who haven't tried it I remembered it to be really really good but it's limited edition and they are back this year so I got it it's like double the price for four pieces, whereas the usual shower pot is like six eighty for six pieces. So yeah. Hey, drop. They kept saying it's better than Gong Yuan Mala, so I'm gonna try. Not sure how my stomach is gonna take it. I think we can have a few different levels. Okay, so this is soup one. It looks like it's a curry kind of broth, actually. Good morning! Seventeen weeks, five days, four days, and tomorrow we are gonna be finding out the gender because we're gonna do a gender review party. Um, I think it's gonna be in this vlog. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make like a separate video for it, but place your bets. <laughs> place your bets. Let let us know what uh, gender you think Baby Puff is. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Let me know in the comments box down below. Unfortunately, no gambling here, so you don't get to win anything. Right now, we are heading to Vivo City, or rather Harborfront Centre. Honestly, I'm so clueless. I don't know what to get, what brand to get, what are the things I need, you know. So leave me with your recommendations as well. I definitely need recommendations for like breast pumps, bottles, swaddles, uh, baby cot, uh, baby strollers car seat <laughs> everything i think <laughs> yeah and also like my um i don't know maternity clothes it's really such a downer to put on clothes every day in the morning now like i can't fit most of my clothes anymore and um things that i could fit two weeks ago i can't fit anymore as well so it's really just super demoralizing and I can stand in front of the wardrobe for like 30 minutes. Sounds like a baby. Sounds like a baby? What do you mean sounds like a baby? It grows very fast. Yeah, the baby grows fast also. Yeah. Finally attempting Korean food. I have not attempted spicy soups in a while, but I think I feel okay today. Not sure. This and Korean barbecue. Um, I think we over ordered. <laughs> Not sure how I'm gonna take it. I'm in Uniqlo and this is a top that I quite like actually. It's a bit sheer, but you know, I can see myself wearing it in so many styles. What do you guys think? It's like 40 bucks, but it's so soft and it crops just nice. Baby's 
I'm gonna send it to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> What color are you wearing today? Blue. Wow. <laughs> we are both in white. Because we have to be gender neutral. Anyway, we are having lunch at this place called Caden. It's inside Imperial Mall. It's so empty, but decided to eat something Western and cafe ish. Truffle rice and seafood marinara. Alright, we are in the space. I rented this place from within. It comes with a lot of things. Pool table. Like, you can buy uh, alcohol as well. Full-fledged kitchen, oven, whatever. Look at this. KTV, projector, automatic mahjong table. And upstairs is going to be even more interesting. And this is the second floor. Look at that. We've got full-on darts. Um, you know, with the screen. Foosball, table tennis, air hockey, basketball, a ball pit if you have children or people just want to chill and chat, and even a full set poker table. So it's been one full day. I realized I didn't update my vlog yesterday. Um, we had so much fun. I really got to see so many of my friends and family and so many ex Timong Bong peeps that came to just celebrate this, you know, little baby's new life. Uh, or rather, the baby's not out yet, but um, we found out that it's a boy and I am beyond thrilled. I'm so happy. I can't talk loudly because Matt is in the room. He's like on the phone right now. But I just want to say I'm so happy. Like, if you guys watch my oh, 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 oh videos, you'll know that um, I've mentioned it many, many, many times that I really think baby boys are really, really cute. And it would be my dream to have three boys or be a mom to three boys. Yeah, I mean, I not sure if I will ever have three boys or three children in the first place but um, I'm so happy and I really cannot believe it I can't believe it is a boy oh my gosh like I was so sure it would be a girl uh, based on all of the symptoms that I was facing bad morning sickness I felt that my skin was was bad but I guess people have been telling me that if you have a girl and you have bad complexion like, it is really bad. Like, this is not considered bad to them. I'm not sure, but... Um, but anyway, all these are old wives' tales, right? And um, I always thought that my, my bump looks a little bit more flat instead of sharp. You know, like, it goes sideways. So, therefore, I was so convinced that it would be a girl. But it is a boy. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning folks! Bright and early, super hot these days. 
Um, I am visiting the new Lazada one office, which is literally where Ting Tai Fong Menu Life Building used to be for all my SMU peeps who are around my, my age. So sad, but I mean, it's a good thing. Now Lazada has a central office like in town. And I just walked past Waterloo. That was where I used to eat the chicken rice, the mee sua, the western food. And I saw that a lot of things changed also. But yeah, I am in the office today uh, for a meeting, so wish me luck. Today is gonna be a full day. Anyway, this is my outfit. I don't know, I kind of look like slightly progress today, but also slightly fat. Though, I don't know, can be, can be mistaken as weight gain or a baby or a food baby. I need to pump the petrol. <sighs> Meeting went well, but first I'm gonna look for my girls. Um, gotta send some footage. <sighs> my Dropbox hasn't been working, so I need to see them physically in order to send footage. I am so excited! One of my biggest idols is Chris Lin. I know I talked about her quite a lot. Uh, especially in the past, I really look up to her, especially as an influencer, as an entrepreneur, and everything. And today she's in Singapore, and I'm attending a skin thing event where she's speaking at, so I'm very excited. That was great. Finally, time to settle my lunch. It's almost 5 p.m. I'm so hungry. Thank God there were snacks along the way. Uh, got myself some Thai fun. So good. <laughs> Lazy sand. Sunday. <laughs> Just chilling with my in laws. <laughs> Julene sent over a chocolate cake, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna grab myself a slice. Fortunately, nobody in this household is gonna eat it with me, so I'm gonna have to tap out it for dinner, I guess, with my parents. They would appreciate the cake more. So yummy! Look at this, eyeing. First Cairo session. Oh no, this lift is so badly scratched up. I'm wearing my Pilates outfit later on. And I'm so full. Just doing some unboxing. We've got something new from Sovasu. It's so pretty. Um, this is the new ginseng brightening line. This is the Ampule. What if I actually really like it? I will feel so sad because I will have to buy the whole bottle. <laughs> this is the new item. doesn't smell too ginsengy, which is great. Oh, here's a fun fact. Did you know that pregnant women can't consume ginseng? I didn't know that, but now I know that pregnant women can't eat a lot of things. Uh, one of them is ginseng, of course your raw stuff, even ibiko, so anything mentaiko. 
even if your sushi is cooked and you have ibiko outside, the gaini did say it's best just to pick them out. And I'm just like, it's so difficult to pick them out. <laughs> it really depends on what kind of pregnant mummy you are and what kind of gaini you have. Like whether or not she's chill, whether or not you're chill. Uh, but for now, I think I'm really chill, but Matt isn't. So Matt is just like, why it's really not that hard to just pick out the things that you're not supposed to be eating instead of just shoving it into your mouth. So I, I do agree with him. I've had quite a few pregnancy scares so far, like, and I get scared over the tiniest things because, um, you know, I share a lot about my insecurities when it comes to my health and especially with my fertility issues. I... I just have this feeling at the back of my mind that, you know, I don't know if I can trust my body enough to carry um, the baby to full term. So that's why I'm being extra careful. But at the same time, I don't really want to be like super pregnancy crazy. Um, yeah, so that's the reason why. Anyway, yesterday I went for my first osteopath session and I really did like it. Like, I don't know what took me so long. Okay, obviously the cost is a very big deterrent uh, but you know if you are someone that always feels really tense or you know you have very very bad postures bad habits and you don't have the time to go for your monthly massages because massages can take like one and a half hours and you know if you are met with not a good masseuse you pretty much waste that money and that one and a half hours right visiting an osteopath um, it's actually quite similar to getting a really targeted specific like deep spots massage where they are able to assess you from a very medical structural scientific kind of way and they will know exactly like where are the muscles that you're tight at and they will really just go straight in and target it using many different tools and techniques um, lots of stretching, lots of massage, but they are all really precise ones. I'm so excited. Um, I'm with my ex interns today. Wow. Oh, this is yours. Hey. <laughs> She's eating one on her own. Hey, can I try your tomato first? Yeah, try. Hey, y'all try, okay, try first. Try first, try first. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. oh. <laughs> XT Mongabong. <laughs> and then we are eating chocolate. <laughs> okay, what are we gonna buy? I'm gonna drink the normal bubble tea. I love it. Are you gonna buy? What? The strawberry thing? Okay, go. Let's go, let's go. Misha, it's so good. Okay, I just drank about this much. Gonna leave them for Matt. Um, he really likes Cup Walker as well, and we both love Cup Walker, so I think this is gonna bring back lots of nostalgic memories for him. Anyway, it was so nice to see all my ex interns again. I really miss them. 